Welcome. Today we're going to discuss the Application Programming Interface, better known as the API. The API information can be located in our support pages. Click on Support, on our Online Help, and it's the last section. So let's open this up. So all the information is located here. Really, you do need to have a little bit of programming experience, but we're going to just show you a little bit about how you can get around that using some uh, easy tricks in Excel. So first, just to name, there's a whole bunch of functions that we can access through the API. We can connect to your account and draw information and actually place information into your account as well. A programmer can really find this useful, but some people just need to get the information out and use it to create, for example, extended reports. So one thing we have to start out with, again, I'm not one to really read, so let's just go through this really quickly, but getting a GUID. This is connected to your username and password and gives you access to your ACE project account. So it's saying that I need the login function. All the functions are available from the API Explorer. Clicking on the API Explorer will open up the API Explorer page and all the functions are listed here. So it's telling me I need the login function. So let's go up and find the login function. And it's saying that I need a sample account, the sample user, and the sample password. So I'm going to just copy this information here and put it into a text file. And actually I already have. And I'm going to use the demo account of Ace Project. So let's go in here and this is demo.aceproject.com. It's an account that's available to everybody. It's open account. And I'm logged in as a user called Robert Jones, which is username is actually user and his password is user. So let's go back to our notepad here. And so I've taken that string and I've replaced sample account because it's the account ID by demo because it's demo.aceproject.com. The username would be your username. And in this case, it's user and the password is user. I've also added an at, an and uh, format equals XML, and I'll explain that to you a bit later. It's needed for Excel, but it doesn't help, or doesn't hurt anything right now anyways. So let's go and copy that, and let's just put that in a browser and see what happens. So right now it's making the call, and it's actually getting the information. If I remove the at format, and format, you can see it's just the data is in a different structure. It's saying that it can't find a structure, so it's just outputting it what it what it feels like it should do. So let's just add that format again. And I can see right away the GUID is presented right here. So we need that string. And that string is unique to each user. And it refreshes every 30 days. So let's put my GUID right here, or GUID. And now I want to, for example, get tasks. So let's go back to our Explorer and I want to find the get tasks function. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. Well, luckily, I don't want to read any of that again. I just want to get all the tasks. And I can see there's a lot of null values here, meaning that it's a value that I could put in or not. What we really want, of course, is just to understand just generally what it's trying to do. Generally, it wants to get the tasks and it's going to and it's going to provide information. And all the rest of these, the project ID, the task ID are filters, which we don't really need if we want to get all tasks. So let's just take everything before the GUID. And I've already done it here. I've placed it here and I want to put my GUID that I located in the first step. And I want to add my and format equals XML. Again, let's bring that into our browser window. And here are all the tasks from the demo project that that user has access to. Don't worry, administrators, it is based on your user access. So whatever user access you have is what the user access you have through the API as well. Again, this is not really useful to a regular user. So how can I make it useful to me, a, no a novice user? Well, let's open up Excel. Excel has a great function. It's called data from web. You're able to import data directly from a web page. And what do we have here but a web page with data? So let's bring in 
this function call, open up Excel, and it's the data from web. I'm going to paste the function here with the GUID and go. It's going to actually make that call and bring it into Excel. And again, this is where the AND format equals XML is necessary, otherwise the data won't come in correctly. And I'm able to import it in. And it's actually making the call online and bringing that data into Excel. Here we go. I have all the data, all the task information right in Excel ready for me to exploit. So here we've added now tasks. Let's get projects. Again, I'm sure there's a function call called projects. Let's just verify that. It's probably named oops, get projects. There it is. So we'll go through the same function, and it is just fct function equals get projects and the GUID, with the rest of them being pretty much filters if we take a look through here. So let's go back into our notepad. And I've actually already pasted it here. So let's just get our GUID. And here we go. And we're going to do the same thing as we did for the tasks. Let's go into projects, go into data, whoops, data from web, paste my function call. It's bringing data in and import. All my projects are now in. Let's do one last one. Let's add the clients. The client list is interesting since in the interface of Ace Project, there's no way to actually export it. So we can do it through the API. So let's go to our notepad again, and I got the function get clients. So let's use our GUID and the AND format XML. And we'll bring this in to Excel in the data from web and go and then import. So as you can see, all the data is now within Excel, ready for manipulation, further manipulation. So in the hands of a programmer, the API actually is very powerful. You can not only get information, but place information to ACE project and automate a lot of the tasks. For example, whole programs can be built using our API. In this case, for example, here's our demo account API interface and we have the mobile interface which you can access on an iPad or on other devices Android device it was all built using the API nothing else so the information of course the interface was built and all the API function calls were built behind so I hope that gave you a little introduction to the API and how useful it can be for novice users uh, if you have any questions please contact us at support at aceproject.com have a good day bye bye